I always liked horror movies. Uh, I kind of, it's kind of weird running a haunted house. I'm actually a big scaredy cat. <laughs> so as a kid, like you couldn't drag me into one of these things. A Manitowoc County man credits the camp he grew up next to for inspiring his successful career making terrifying dolls. And now he's giving back to that camp by scaring people every October. Tonight in Small Towns, Jeff Alexander takes us to the spooky Camp Tampa Wingo outside Michigan. Nestled in the woods of Camp Tampa Wingo, a creepy experience awaits when the sun goes down. Oh yeah, so all the pumpkins all lit up, these uh, scarecrows will be all lit up. A mini Universal Studios. This area is pretty cool, you'll have to check this out. Designed to frighten. The lamps light up and then the insides of them flash around and it makes it very interactive than just something that's static. This is Garrett Zima's haunted voyage. One thing I love about our haunt is that each, a lot of the actors, each one of them will um, spend the time a little bit with you and do a performance rather than a quick scare and then go away. Um, I think that's one thing, one of our strengths. As a kid, Garrett lived next to the camp and every fall when it became a haunted camp, he became fascinated. I would just like have my window rolled down and you'd hear all the yelling and screams and all the chainsaws and it was like, gosh, what's going on over there? Too scared to go through the haunt, Garrett volunteered to be a young actor to draw out the screams. I just liked the fact that it was like entertaining and people liked um, getting scared. After high school, Garrett launched a career as a wedding photographer, but also dabbled in making spooky Halloween props, which he posted on social media. One day, out of the blue, a phone call from a Hollywood special effects artist. I was approached to work on one of the Chucky movies. It was like the seventh installment, and I uh, they they reached out and saw the work I was doing on other things and they thought, okay, you can do that and you can do this. Soon after, another big break. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios, a company in California, reached out to me and they um, wanted to produce toys and they had the license through Universal Studios and we started producing these, um, these dolls. So mainly I started off making the nice Chuckies and then now we're making some angry versions of them. Garrett's Chucky dolls became an immediate success. You wouldn't believe like there's so many fans of Chucky. Um, it's huge in Japan. So I sell a lot to Japan um, and you know, people just buy the stuff up in the thousands of dolls, and there I've seen pictures online where someone has a, a mock-up of 20 of them in their man cave, and it's like, okay, you know, but it, it's cool, you know. <laughs> in 2016, with Garrett's career taking off, he had another vision. And I reached out to the camp and said, hey, you know, you haven't done a haunted camp in a long time. Would you be interested in me doing that for you? And as 50-50 partners, Garrett vowed to fund the hunt himself and not cut any corners. And here it's like real, like movie quality sets that we build out here. And it actually looks, you know, like legit. Um, you know, we have all these fake cabins built out there. They're not real, they're just facades. And um, people love it. Garrett says preparation starts in spring with building sets and tearing down old ones. In late summer, things really ramp up. In the month of September, I don't do anything, but I'm here every day, rain or shine. I'll just be out here on my raincoat or I'll be working somewhere inside with electronics because there's a lot of computer stuff going on in there too to make it very interactive. Each fall, fresh meat. the camp averages around 2,000 <laughs> cool. thrill seekers. And while Garrett is happy to just break even, he ensures the camp reaps the rewards with proceeds, his way of giving back. Um, I'd probably be better off working at McDonald's part time, making money than working here. So, <laughs> but the camp can use that money then. To oh just... yeah, yeah. They, you know, I think last year they or two years ago they bought a tractor. Once Halloween is over, Garrett will resume his next goal of creating original products for the haunted house industry. He's off to a good start with all these rabid raccoons. But these are kind of uh, the spooky ones. They're uh, real. Yeah, it's just that there's a company that um, they build realistic uh, raccoon plush, and then I take them and I actually molded uh, some taxidermy teeth, 
and made castings off of that and then I hand paint all the teeth and then I put them in and then we put this uh, this is actually just tabletop epoxy that's been tinted with a drop of blue and some red dye. The camp is filled with Garrett's raccoons and one giant one. So then the actor will just puppet it like this and you can kind of give a little attitude and then the scare would be a camp with plenty of scares thanks to a 29-year-old man living a dream he never quite imagined as a 12-year-old boy. It's very rewarding for me, um, and I'm just fortunate that I can survive off of doing the Chucky stuff and other Halloween stuff and then be able to do this as well. If you're brave enough to give Garrett's scary creation a shot, Haunted Voyage will be waiting for you this Friday and Saturday and next Friday, Saturday and Sunday leading up to Halloween. In Michicot with photojournalist Bill Kambalik, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Chucky dolls and rabid raccoons. Uh, how about that? Great job, my friend. Thanks again for helping out. Next week in Small Towns, meet a Marinette County woman who transformed her century-old farm in an unbelievable way.